Sometimes on the face of a calculator, you see what looks like a broken pixel. But if you could look close enough, which you can't, but if you could, you'd see that that little black dot contains a whole universe full of numbers. And in one corner of this universe of numbers, there is a town where the Twelves live, Dozenopolis. It's a very nice town. Or it was. And back when it was, that was where I first met Twelve. And not just any Twelve. They were all called Twelve in Dozenopolis, you see. It sounds more confusing than it was. This was a very special Twelve. A Twelve who was going to be instrumental in putting the universe of numbers back together after... Well, you'll see. Yowzers, are you okay? That was quite the tumble. Oh, you're a twelve. I like twelves. Can I come with you? What's your name? I'll call you... Twelve. is activated by 13s. But you're a 12. If only numbers could change value. Oh, a number. Hey, little number. What are you doing here? Yikes! I was not expecting that to happen. Oh, it's an addition valve for adding. If you stand close enough to activate it, then drag the number to it, then maybe... Twelve? Or thirteen? Oh, I get it. You're still twelve, but you're also thirteen. Get out of the way, Gruffle Trump. Twelve? Look at this old poster. Need something pushing? Rent a four. I remember now! Fours can push things! Twelve, change the number of the four in it. Then you can push this thing out of the way. That'll do. Wow, you did it! I don't know what's going on, but I'm sticking with you. Let's go down this way. It might be quieter. Cross fingers. Does anyone here have fingers? You were a 14 a minute ago. Hmm. I 
guess that whole thing resets you. Well, you'll always be 12 to me. There's a number down there. Become a 17 so we can get to it. Great! We've got the number. Let's go. Oh, not. We're stuck. Whoopsies. Okay, well, let's just wind back and try that a different way. Now, how else could you do this? Let's push that gruffle trump onto the platform before you become a 17. Then we can get out again. Anytime you feel like you've made a mistake, I'm happy to help. Getting in our way, I mean. They're usually part of the mainframe of the ultra hyper supercomputer. Oh, I'll explain later. I mean the ultra hyper supercomputer created to find prime numbers. That's where all these parts are from, I think. Something must have happened to it. Something bad. We'll figure it out. Seems you're really good at figuring things out, Twelve. Nice around here. I like it. Nice neighborhood. Fewer crash landing computer parts. How are we going to get up there? Of course, nines. Nines can jump high. And now you're a number with a nine in it. Jump, Twelvey, jump!
Subtract? Oh, you've taken to number changing like a duck to algebra 12. Do ducks like algebra? I think they probably do. Everyone likes algebra. <laughs> uh, whatever. You're really good at this. This is not the nicest part of Dozenopolis I've ever seen, I must say. You don't live around here, right? way keeps getting blocked, I suppose. And I guess you just want to get home and tell your folks about these rogue computer bits as quickly as possible.
them. Excellent plan. Use this Gruffle Trump to get across those spikes. Don't worry, you can't harm Gruffle Trumps. They're made to protect the Ultra Hyper Supercomputer, so they're tough. That's why this is brilliant. That computer is meant to be indestructible. I heard it found a really big, powerful prime recently. Maybe that's got something to do with all this.
This is what I like about Dozenopolis. Attention to detail. When bridges are fragile, there's a sign that says so. Like here, clear signs giving the maximum value. Any higher than that, you'll break the bridge. Good work, Dozenopolis. down there.
Watch out, or this shortcut will be cut short, Twelve. Be careful! Is that an open window up there? Something could hit the building any second! Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, my God. 